There's like three types of people before the game, okay? You get the type of people that are very quiet, just cool, nonchalant. I'm not like that. You get the people that are... I ain't like that either. I'm like that third guy. The guy that I'm just chilling. You know what I'm saying? But I'm geeked up at the same time. I'm running around, I'm smiling, I'm hey! You know what I'm saying? I'm cool. I'm chilling. YouTube man, this your boy. I'll be the prodigy in today. I'm back with a brand new video. <sighs> now check this out. This video, you can call it a story time. You can call it whatever you want, man. I'm gonna tell you what was it like playing in my very first Division One football game. Okay. Now for those of you that are new to the channel, if you don't know, your boy prodigy played D1 football. You should play at Missouri State. You can go ahead and. Fact check it if you don't believe me. But I'm going to give you the story about playing on my very first college football game. If you're interested in that, stay tuned. Man, I'm tired, bro. I just got back from the gym, man. So if I ain't got that same that same energy, you know, that the fire I typically bring, don't judge me. But I'm tired, you know what I'm saying? What, what y'all know about these right here? Best Arizona flavor ever made. Set the scene, prod. Boom. Okay. Story takes place last year. My red shirt freshman season. For all of you that don't know, I red shirted. Now, the first game of the season, we we're playing Mizzou. You know the Tigers. I went to Missouri State, and we are playing the University of Missouri. University of Missouri is an SEC team. You know what I'm saying? This was a big game for us. By far, the biggest game in school history, simply because of the rivalry, because we've been bashing each other. At least the schools have been bashing each other for as long as I can remember. So I already know off top. One, everybody expects us to get blown out. Two, this game is going to be jumping. You know what I'm saying? It's going to be live. Three, we playing against the SEC team. So I'm excited to see, you know what I'm saying, what the levels is like. You know what I'm saying? Because like I said, when I was playing, I had league dreams. I had dreams to go pro. So obviously, if you want to go pro, you want to play against the best people possible. At least that's how I feel. I don't know how you feel. But I'm trying to play against whoever you think is the best so I can see where I'm at. I'm trying to go dominate the people up here. You get what I'm saying? So all through fall camp, man, we prepping for this game. And I'm not going to lie. We were getting that vibe from our coaches like, like we were going to get ran. And you know if you're getting that vibe from your coaches, it's typically it's, a, it's kind of a scary sight because they're supposed to be the ones that gas you up. You know what I'm saying? Even if you don't think you're going to win a game, your coach is supposed to make you think you're the best team walking the earth. You get what I'm saying? So fast forward past fall camp. Now, I'm not starting due to the fact of how floppy I am, how inconsistent I am. Y'all, look at my previous videos. You know what I'm saying? You can hear my whole football story. I just wasn't passionate enough to take football 100% seriously. But regardless, they're telling me that I'm supposed to play a lot in this game. Okay? Now, my whole family's coming to the game, even though I told them not to. Every football player knows, this might be for any sport, but every football player knows the first game of the season is always the worst. I never take the first game of the season seriously in regards to I know everyone's not at their best, everyone's not warmed up, everyone's rusty. So you got to take it with a grain of salt. Okay. Bro, this camera make it look like my face is just oily. You know what I'm saying? I know I just got back from the gym, but I ain't even sweating, man. That's crazy. That's crazy. But anyway... So, I'm going to fast forward to about the night before the game. You know what I'm saying? I will drop a video coming soon on what a college game day is like. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to my guy. The one that suggested this video. I'm going to probably put a pic right here. Shout out to my guy. Make sure you join that group chat, by the way. Okay? If, you, if, you, if you're interested in college sports, you know what I'm saying, advice and everything, join that group chat. But anyway, so the day before the game, we're going through our plays. You know what I'm saying? Going through some tape. We getting all hyped up. We eating dinner, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Nice bed check. So, you know, I'm laying in my bed like this. You know what I'm saying? I'm on my phone, bro. This is the day before the biggest game of my life, and I'm just sitting here thinking, like, you know, I'm thinking about everything. I'm thinking about scoring a touchdown. You know what I'm saying? I'm thinking about what my celebration was gonna do. I'm gonna let you in on a little secret. 
If I would have scored a touchdown, I would have done a big man jelly fan. So I would have ran. I would have ran to the goalpost. Made it look like I was finna really dunk. I'm talking about, hey! And it just laid it up. You know what I'm saying? With a little finesse. Don't steal that. It would have been icy. But uh, now, next day, game day. You know what I'm saying? And this was like something I've never seen before. We came downstairs to eat breakfast. Our hotel is like surrounded by uh, Mizzou fans. You know what I'm saying? Just talking crazy. You know, it's typically a college football game day. You're going to see a bunch of drunk individuals just running their mouth. So we eat food. We prep a little bit more. And we get on the bus, right? Now, on the bus, I got my headphones on, bro. I'm sipping on some Powerade, looking out the window. You know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm not one of them people. There's like three types of people before the game, okay? You get the type of people that are very quiet, just cool, nonchalant. I'm not like that. You get the people that are... I ain't like that either. I'm like that third guy. The guy that I'm just chilling, you know what I'm saying? But I'm geeked up at the same time. I'm running around, I'm smiling, I'm hee, -hee you know what I'm saying? I'm cool. I'm chilling. You know what I'm saying? I'm not angry and I'm not I'm not reserved. I'm just I'm just chilling. You know what I'm saying? So I'm on the bus just vibing to my music. You know what I'm saying? What song would I be listening to on the bus? I'm gonna play what song I feel like I'll be listening to and just picture me on the bus like this. You know what I'm saying? So I'm really chilling. I'm chilling on the bus, just laid back. So now we pull up to the stadium once again. I've never been to a stadium this big in my life. I mean, I'm seeing posters, everything. I'm seeing fans when we driving in, just talking crazy, just running their mouth, bro. I get off the bus. Still got my headphones on. I'm taking all of this in, bro. Because you know you might never be here again. Get to the locker room. Now I set in. It's like you about to go to war. So I get dressed. And I actually went to do our pregame warm-up. Which we have an optional warm-up and then a regular team warm-up. I've actually never done this pregame warm-up in my life. But that's how amped up I was. So I went out there to do this pregame warm-up, man. So I'm stretching. I'm working on pass sets, bro. I'm on this big, beautiful turf field. A beautiful day outside, man. Stands is packed. I'm looking at old Mizzou highlights on the scoreboard. I said, bro, wow. You know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm low-key living the dream right now. Now I just got to go on the field and ball out. So now, once again, I'm going I'm to show you what song. Now, this I remember, ex I remember exactly what song I was listening to. Picture me warming up for the game. Put your headphones on. This is what I'm listening to. Smoke a lot, got a permanent cough. Popping them pills again. Used to think it was my dog. Now you are not my friend. Turn myself into a boss. I was born to win. You know what I'm saying? I was bumping that song like on repeat. I don't know why, but you know you got them songs that you hear and you just be feeling it for a while and you just put it on repeat. So I'm bumping that song like crazy. I'm in the zone right now. You know what I'm saying? Go back into the locker room. Coaches say they speech or whatever. We take the field. You know what I'm saying? Now, this game was crazy. The thing about my school, we typically played very well the first half and always died off in the second half. So we're playing Mizzou, bro. I get on the sideline. I'm cheering my team on. I'm looking at the crowd, just observing. Mizzou gets the ball first. Very first play of the game. Drop back. They threw a nice little a bubble route. Wide receiver caught it to the crib. Gone. Untouched. First play of the game. Throwing it out right side. Caught at the 40-yard line. Johnson gets a block. Gets outside to midfield. Right side line to the 40. To the 30. Johnson in a foot race. He won't be caught. Touchdown Missouri on the first play from scrimmage. This was the look on my face. Bro, at that very moment, bro, I was like, man, we about to go on 12. I, sw I swear to God. I was like, bro, it's like we about to have another repeat of just depression. So our offense comes on the field. I'm not in the game yet. We score. We going back and forth with them. And this is where I knew. This is where I knew we were going to lose the game. I believe the score was like 21-21 or it, it was tied up. We had the ball. No, 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 no. I believe the score was 28-21. to We were down and we had the ball. So it was our chance to match their touchdown. 
and our quarterback comes out and he threw a pick. Running to the right side, looking downfield at the 12, steps up, throws it back towards the middle of the field, intercepted by Cheadle at the 41-yard line. Just And as soon as he threw this pick, it was like right before the half, I was like, they going to go down the score, and we lost the game. So we go into the half down like 13, like probably 35, 21 or something. We were down double digits, two scores, okay? I went in the locker room and I'm like, man, I already knew because I knew my team at the time. I'm like, bro, that's reps. That's reps. Come out in the second half, that's exactly what it was. We, I ended up coming in the game way later, bro, like garbage time. You know what I'm saying? The crowd have gone. The referee, the referee, I just said the referee. Whoa. The referees are asleep when I come in the game. And you know what's crazy? I'm pretty sure I was on Mizzou scouting report. Because when I came in the game, bro, when I tell you every D lineman's eyes got big, like, like they seen a ghost. And I just looked at him, I gave him that look like, <sighs> you already know. You know what I'm saying? Came in, played my little one series, went three and out. Jog right off the field was heated. I don't think I've ever been so mad in my life. And not because I really didn't play, but it's because they told me how much I was going to play. We ended up losing like 72 to 38 or something like that. We still ended up losing bad, but the first half, we went by. We were on like Sports Center and everything, bro. We were really balling in that first half. We ended up getting blown out, like I said. Game ends. You know, I go on the field, you know, shake up with people. I was talking to this one dude uh, who went to a high school near me. Like, he was the number one player in the nation. Say it was up to him. Woo, woo, woo. Come off the field. So, man, I go to the locker room, man. You know, coach giving us a speech. Everybody's mad. I'm normally always the first one out the locker room, bro. I get dressed so fast. It's ridiculous. Get dressed. I go see my parents. You know what I'm saying? My parents is mad because, like I said, they didn't play me. And it gets to a point where you know where you're going to lose, bro. We're getting beat by like 30 in the third quarter. All the starters are still in the game. You know what I'm saying? So my parents is heated. But I was like, it's just an experience at the end of the day. I can say I played in the biggest game in school history. You definitely get goosebumps. I wasn't really nervous, but I was excited, bro. I thought it was about to be my coming out party. I was ready to go crazy. But it didn't go out that way, man. But that is my story on my first Division one football game, man. Missouri State against Mizzou. It was crazy. Like I said, it's something I will never forget. Definitely crazy. But uh, if you want more story times like this, make sure you smash the like button, share the video, and buy me some Arizonas, you know what I'm saying? Because they be smacking. But it's your boy IB, man. Make sure you like, share, subscribe if you're new. And I'm out. Let me not be greedy, though. You know what I'm saying? You want some? Matter of fact, I, I feel you. I don't drink off nobody either. Hold on. I got a new one for you. You can be you gonna hear that pop. You heard that? Go ahead and get you some, bro. Don't say I ain't never did nothing for you. But uh, like I said, man, hope y'all enjoy it. New videos on the way. And I'm out. Hey!